Rinse and repeat for the Washington Commanders. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us here on yet another video. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. And if you're a returning subscriber, I'll try to get that word out. Subscriber, thank you for supporting this channel. I can use all the support I can get. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, hopefully this video will earn your subscription. With that said, let's get into today's videos, shall we? So the Washington Commanders recipe for success against the Philadelphia Eagles on Monday night is the same recipe that they will apply to beating the Houston Texans on Sunday. Heavy dose of the run with the combination of Brian Robinson Jr. and Antonio Gibson. We also know that Taylor Heineke will be starting on Sunday, so rightfully so, right? The team is just a different team with Heineke under center, and plus they're three and one with him starting. Now I truly believe that this team has found its identity for success on Monday night. A heavy dose of the running with the football, you know, the ball control style, the play action to Terry McLaurin and Curtis Samuel. It's old school and it fits Ron Rivera's style perfectly. I think it also fits the Washington Commander's style perfectly. Guess what? It works. And while it's, you know, the modern age is kind of the, the pass-happy, you know, quarterback first style of the NFL, it's quite refreshing, in my opinion, to see hard-nosed, pound-to-ground football. I, I just think it helps Taylor Heineke as well. I mean... It helps the offensive line that struggled, and ultimately it's going to help open up the passing game. We saw this on Monday night where Terry McLaurin, he pretty much ate him up. I mean, you know, eight pass receptions. Now, could this be one of those trap games, right? The big old letdown after a huge Monday night victory. Surely, absolutely. I mean, by all means on paper, the commanders should win this football game easily but games are not won and lost on paper they are won and lost on the football field and that's where this game will play out so the Texans are struggling against the run I think they're 32nd in the NFL so Washington needs to continue to attack that as much as they possibly can just like they attacked this against the Eagles on Monday night. Now, I believe that the commanders need to make a dominating the time of possession a regular thing as well. You know, so running the football, chewing up the, the time on the clock, those kind of go hand in hand. This is something that made Joe Gibbs a championship a caliber coach in the 1980s. You know, when, when the Redskins won under Gibbs, time of possession was dominated by the team almost always. No reason why the same recipe can't be followed and led to success in today's game. I mean, it worked on Monday night, and I, I believe it can work in games to come. And could the Commanders also get Chase Young back for this game? I mean, I thought he was going to come back for the Minnesota game. That, that was a little ambitious. Didn't come back for the Eagles game, but the time is right now, right? Right? I mean, of course, he won't play the number of snaps that we're used to seeing Chase Young play, obviously, but just I think just getting him out there for a handful of snaps will be a big boost, a big lift to this team. I mean, even if it's just a handful of plays, I, you know, that defensive line, I think, is dominated even without Chase Young. So having Young back, I mean, it's just adding gravy onto that creamy mashed potatoes. How's that for an early Thanksgiving reference, right? Yum. <laughs> uh, my prediction is the Commanders will win this game, but let's not take the Texans lightly. Every game is going to be a hard-fought win, 
earned for the Washington Commanders because that's, that's kind of how their style is. They don't win games easy. <laughs> you know, why would we expect anything different from a franchise that, you know, comes with its own brand of drama off the field, right? I mean, I'm not going to expect anything different. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.